Credit unions demand assurances from central bank after data leak blunder. A leading credit union body is seeking assurances from the central bank in Ireland that um, it leaked the home and addresses of credit union bosses. There were around 50 people who were affected by this. What do you guys have to say about this? Yeah, Central Bank of Ireland. This is not some mom and pop organization here. This is uh, bad news. Yeah, I, I mean, obviously uh, the bosses, whatever that term is, is that an official term? Like, like if you own a bank, are you the boss? <laughs> what is everybody looking at me for? Um, 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 I'm bank boss. <laughs> that have done various things mm -hmm. so i'm sure it's going to be fine mm -hmm. um but if it's not fine these bank bosses may want to look into uh at this point digital and probably physical protection how did the blunder happen was it in it, it just a secure bucket <laughs> it looks like it was human error honestly because it was like on the on the if we drink, if we drink, a blind time, if we drink every time it was human error, we would be, be Irish. Irish. <laughs> if you're in charge of a credit union in Ireland, you need some protections. And I didn't see anything about them giving identity theft. And here's the problem with these disclosures. Um, in the US, it's reasonable and customary, but not mandatory that you give out ID theft protection for a year uh, if you have a data breach. Now, a year is far too little, and there needs to be better protections for the consumer, but that's only in the US. I've seen nothing mm -hmm. from Ireland to suggest that they are protecting these bank bosses. And, and I'm not like the first to line up and say that we should give better protections to bank bosses. That's That seems a little weird, but we should give better protections to everyone that has their information leaked against in, their will. In their defense, I mean, being, being the head of a credit union doesn't necessarily make you a millionaire either. You know what I mean? It means that you want to open strategic investments to your community. Like the, you never know what those credit unions take home. Like I'm speaking from knowledge of local credit unions here in the U.S. I don't, I have no idea what Irish credit unions are like, but generally it's people that are a little bit more community focused. It's kind of tough. It, it, it means you might not necessarily have the resources of a Central Bank of Ireland to protect yourself. I feel like if your job title is bank boss, like you have a slightly lower amount of like empathy than <laughs> others. Well, they're also mentioning that many of them held keys to credit union premises. So it's if if you kind of like have your name and addresses leaked. Oh that might be scary. Right. I mean, like physical security is obviously very concerning, but yeah. uh, obviously digital security is mm -hmm. equally as, as concerning. Uh, if they weren't worried about uh, phishing attacks and social engineering, they should be because yeah. they're going to be targeted. I mean, and, and the thing is, banks are all already targeted. Mm -hmm. They are one of the biggest targets because they have the money and uh, bank bosses are at the top of that list. And so now hackers have much more information to go by. Okay, so let's move on 